Project managers in every organization face a lot of the same challenges. Planning and tracking across multiple teams or projects, understanding and managing dependencies, balancing teams' workloads, and prioritizing work across multiple work streams. These challenges may be common, but their solutions require unique approaches. They need to be tailored to each company's culture, team structure, business needs, or other factors. This was one of the driving ideas behind Structure for Jira. Let's see how this idea works in practice. To illustrate, we'll use one of the most common use cases, visualizing a portfolio of projects. You can build as many structures as you want for any purpose you want. You may choose to share them with other users as you create them or configure permissions later. You can start building your structure manually if you wish, but the real power of structure lies in its automation feature. It allows you to build dynamic structures based on different types of rules that you have at your disposal. We call these rules generators. For our use case, we want to build a top-down work breakdown structure that will help us visualize all of our projects. Let's start by adding our top-level items. We can add all issues from a particular board or use a more flexible JQL option to define what issues we want to see. As we add the generator, we see the results of its work right away. As long as you have your structure open, it will automatically update itself in real time based on changes in Jira. For example, if you create a new theme in Jira, it'll be added to your structure right away. Now let's add the initiatives and epics, which are linked to our themes. To do that, we'll use the extend generator, which allows us to visualize the different types of relationships that exist between Jira issues, such as issue links, epic links, parent links from advanced roadmaps, and a few others. In our example, we're using the implements issue link to connect our three highest levels. You can now see that our initiatives and epics were added to the structure. Following a similar principle, we can now add our stories and their subtasks under epics. As the last step, we'll use the sort generator to arrange our issues based on Jira rank, so they appear in the order that's been set on our Jira Agile boards. This will give us a full top-down view of all the projects we're working on. Once we've finished building the hierarchy, we can hide the generators and focus on the data. With structure, you can work with any Jira field, adding them as columns to our current structure view. You can see the values of the fields and edit them in line. This makes structure a great tool for all kinds of tasks where you need to work with a large number of issues at the same time. Apart from standard Jira fields, structure offers a number of custom columns. The progress column allows you to calculate progress across your entire hierarchy based on different types of Jira data. You could use time tracking data, or if you don't track time, you could use the statuses of Jira issues weighted by story point estimates. You can also easily aggregate any numeric field, such as story points or time spent. When you have a single scrum team, planning just one sprint ahead might work well. However, in many real life situations with cross team dependencies, Planning for several iterations may be required. Let's see how structure can help. We can create another structure specifically for sprint planning. This time we'll start with stories. Let's add them to our new structure first. To see how the stories are distributed between different sprints, we can use the group generator. In the Story Points Totals column, we can see how many story points are already committed per sprint.
For convenience, we can open the same structure in the second panel so we can focus on the backlog folder. If we know how many story points each team can handle per sprint, we can now assign the stories from the backlog to the appropriate sprints without overcommitting. If you want to go a level below and check the work allocation by team members, you can add another level of grouping and see if anyone is overbooked. You can also go a level above and see how much work is planned for each release. So as you can see, using generators as building blocks, you can create an issue hierarchy for your specific use case without having to change the way your teams work. Using the same set of features, you can give more traceability to your team members or provide the right high-level overviews to your managers. You can build powerful reports or use inline editing to significantly simplify and speed up your planning sessions. As our users become more and more familiar with how structure works, they start discovering new applications for it and new ways to improve their processes. Structure becomes the primary way in which they interact with Jira. It establishes a new home base to work from. For those who want even more options, we've built an extension for Structure, Structure.Gantt. It adds a timeline view to your hierarchy, which you can configure for a number of different scenarios. You can build high-level outlines of project phases, or you can build deeply detailed plans that take every nuance into account. Thanks for watching.